Okay, today we're going to be talking about a knit system, specifically D menu, but I'm going to compare it to a couple other ones just a little bit, not too much in depth. I'm going to be using this on Arctix Linux, but it's available on a couple others as well. Uh, it's a process manager and supervisor, There's... and it runs as a primary init. So if you look, at, they say here, process supervisor, service manager, uh, system init. You can run it as root, and it'll handle all of your system instances, or as a user instance, and it'll handle everything you would usually have in a process startup file, like an X profile or something like that. Um, and if you look at how processes are set up, you can see you can set them up as a normal process, background process, uh, just a script, or an internal service. And it has more details on how each one of those is here, but mostly you're going to be handling processes, and a couple of these will just be needed for maybe some processes on the user side to give information, or on the root side to have manage permissions. Uh, you can have dependencies, so you can have it wait for other things to start. You can have it like start to help something else start here for a milestone, and then it doesn't isn't needed anymore. You can have a hard dependency. So it's a very robust dependency system as compared to something like Run It, where you wouldn't have any dependencies or anything like that. You can have more robust relationships between your processes when you use something like a D in it here or, or as opposed to just starting it from a file. So it's really nice but it maintains a lot of the simplicity you would get from run it and it's very fast with not a big bloated program like like system D for example. It's small like run it but it's much more robust in my opinion. And you're gonna need to specify process types and commands for each service you can opt to specify a stop command if it needs a special stop command as opposed to just getting stopped by the daemon uh, and then just a bunch of other file uh, options here a lot of the times you'll be giving it things like smooth recovery that way if it just you know stops for any reason uh, dnit can restart it you can give it you know a pid file or any of these kind of things can have it waits for and then have a whole directory of things it has to wait for so very robust chaining of things like that uh, you can give it a log file so like I said instead of just something like run it where it may just be spewing its shit in into the uh, into the terminal and you have to just go look in the terminal for it you can redirect all of the all the garbage this stuff spits out straight into a log file and then read the log file you know, like a normal modern program. You can give it a load options subvar, which would literally just let you use uh, something like uh, dollar sign name, so like home, home directory in your commands. So let's look into what I have going on in my uh, root instance. You can see that I have just all of these services here. Let's just go ahead and look at one. Uh, let's see, okay, this is the, um, let's just go with the first one. You can see it starts as a process, it has a command, smooth recovery, that way if it stops for some kind of reason, it just gets restarted, and it waits for swap, because this needs to optimize all the things, and it needs swap started first. And we can have things like scripts, uh, this is a script that's supposed to start MPD for like a root session instead of like a per user session and then it would just get called in the MPD one here and so it's a very robust system you can go read the logs uh, in system var or if you have your user system you'd set it up basically the same way like this you would have card. you would have uh, just a boot file that loads the boot directory that way you can go ahead and initialize everything like normal 
and you would start all your user processes just in here. You can see I have them all with dot uh, .user. And if we look at one, it's just same as the other one, except now I'm logging to my home directory. I'm depending on other user services. And I would have this be the only process I start in my X profile would just be D in it no root and that's all you need and it would come start this whole directory you've given it the default one for the user instance is going to be config dnit and the default directory for the root instance is going to be just slash etc dnit oh sorry dnit d for both of those and it has the dnit ctl to start and stop services so you can like list all the stuff that's running. You can see my MPD is having problems right now. It's actually working, but for some reason it can't tell that it's working. I'm trying to figure that out. And all the other ones are good. It knows their PID. It shows that they're all up. You can start, stop, restart them all. And you would do the same thing for your root instance, but you would have to run it as root. And Boom, you can see here it's all my root programs. So very nice, very robust, and you can see if uh, we, we come to logs here for my user logs, uh, all the stuff instead of getting spit out to the console is getting spit out into a log file. So very nice there, much easier to deal with. If I wanted to do something, like restart all of my programs. I can literally just restart one. I can sh shut down the whole service if I wanted to, and it'll just shut everything down, and then I can just bring it all right back up. For some reason, I wanted to do that. So it's very nice having this kind of control over stuff. Uh, things that wouldn't work and run it work like this if we come to this um, and look at something like my uh, GPG agent it would need a pre and post command you can't do this and run it uh, just to give it all the information so you make sure that it has a socket to read on and then you're able to start the process in supervised mode and if you tried to just go ahead and try it and run it just try to go starts the process in supervised mode from a run it file and it's gonna just spit out a bunch of errors and tell you it can't do it but with dnit it has access to enough information about the system to actually handle a use case like this so it's not just a primary init system it's also a service manager so very similar to some of the commands you would get with system D but only for these specific instances of starting your SIF system and managing the services you've started so I really like it a lot it is just robust enough to handle all of the ne needs a basic user would have but small enough that it's very fast and lightweight and unixy and that it seems to just do one thing and do it well it plays well with other software so you can do things like reroute uh, it's information into other pieces of software in your basic init, like a logger or something like that. But I prefer just use normal files. I don't have a very robust need for logs. Um, smooth recovery, all of that. So, you know, much better than something like Runit, in my opinion. Uh, for a basic desktop use case, maybe not for like a Raspberry Pi use case or something where you don't really need anything and then for a service uh you know s6 and openrc are great options like for a server s6 and openrc are great options um if you need something more robust than this but it's going to be a lot harder to set up and d and it's it's so easy it's ridiculous if you look at here i have the d and it user serve d that's from one of the other Linux distros that also uses D in it, they have a whole separate 
root service that starts your user services automatically. So it would be user agnostic. I haven't had luck getting that to work, but if you Google dnit user services, uh, the GitHub page explains everything about it. There's a fork for Arctics. Uh, I just haven't had much luck to get it to work yet. It's in very, very heavy beta mode, and it's just so much easier just to start dnit from the session because then it gets all the session variables automatically, and there's no need to do any fuddy-duddy stuff like that. So that's my video on dnit. I like it a lot more than systemd and a lot more than run it. Uh, give it a try.